let's talk about this. Let's talk about GHB GBL. So this little bottle can be fun, uh, but it can also cause a lot of trouble. Since there's quite a controversy about GHB GBL uh, here in Berlin and what my experience uh, is with it. Uh, I've tried it a while ago uh, with friends that I knew that take it responsibly and um, after all the fuss and buzz about it, uh, I wanted to see how it hit and uh, what it actually does. So how does it feel? Well, to be honest, there's a mixture of extra energy that you get, bit of an ecstasy feeling. Uh, your body movements can be trippy and you can also get uh, horny uh, from it. You also get, uh, as I said, energy from it, so uh, you can uh, you can go all weekend. Um, how do you take it? Well, in general, you use the pipette uh, to measure your uh, your dose. Uh, this is really important uh, because you don't want to take too much, and this is also something that you have to get a bit of experience uh, with, in uh, because it differs for everyone in how much they've used before and just what your body weight is and how well uh, you you go on it. Um, then you mix it with a sweet drink and because it's quite chemical, it's actually like a rim a paint cleaner. Yeah, after mixing it with a sweet drink, drink some water as well uh, after it uh, to, uh, to have the best solution. If you ever wanna try it, then I would really suggest to start with a small dose. It's, it's really, I'm not gonna say the dose it's itself, like the, the GHB and GVL both have two different uh, dose sizes. Um, but what I would really do is like start with a small dose, take it at least with a friend who has experience with it and um, that you know that can take it responsible and just wait for at least one and a half hours, two hours to see what it did for you and go if, if you have, and for example, if you have the feeling that it didn't do anything, then just make sure that you slowly build it up because it's quite potent in a, in a way and if you take too much there are definitely some risks to it and you might not have the nicest uh, experience that's also something that i want to talk about uh, later on in this video taking too much of this can really bring you in the uh, situations as passing out is also uh, on the table uh, you can lose your consciousness especially when you are using in a club for example which is already not allowed um, for example if you do this in most uh, clubs then you will be uh, will be uh, kicked out or even banned for like uh, six months i can fully understand uh, the clubs here because well it's not only that you can bring yourself in danger, you can bring others in danger um, as well. And as a community, this is not something that you would like. I respect any kind of drug use. It's as I said, like I also wanted to try it out myself, um, but I want to take you along with the problems that I have with this drug. In the last three years, I've been around in the Berlin club scene uh, for quite a while. And although I know that more than enough people who take this responsibly um, and have never an issue with this uh, drug, I have also seen too many people passing out in the clubs due to this drug. And this is something that I just, I hate seeing this. And that's not because I hate the person, but I care about people even if I don't know them um, and that's just not something that I would like to see. People getting into a position where they can hurt themselves or they are not even aware where they are. People losing their consciousness or at a party. I just, I just hate to see it. It makes me worry and it's not necessarily the nicest thing. Then the other issue that I have with it is the fact that, as I said, you can get horny from it. Uh, from my own experience, I tried once or I have the experience of uh, having sex with uh, NG, which was a whole new experience. It was uh, fun. Um, but in the setting where you are with other people, um, I also have the experience and also other people that I know in where people crossed certain lines um, without asking for consent, just going for that in 
increase sexual arousal um, and I know for myself in any kind of situation I know how to get myself out of there like I don't have that yeah I don't have such a big problem dealing with it but I also know that there are a lot of people that don't have that um, yeah that don't have that tool set and to have seen that in front of my eyes with my with myself um, I can imagine that this is really troublesome in a club culture or even at house parties or even getting people in situations where they can't speak up and they just go along with it while they don't necessarily want to again this is hurtful this is something that um, I have trouble with. This is something that I yeah I hate seeing because at the end of the day it's pain and it's not uh, it's not good. Yeah. Lastly, I noticed that once Corona started, um, people were forced home and had less money to spend. There were also more people starting to take drugs at home. Again, not necessarily the biggest issue for me. I also had house parties and etc. But due to the fact that people had less to spend, um, if you compare a bottle of GHB and how many trips, so to say, you get out of it, it's rather cheap compared to, let's say, one gram of uh, ketamine or even a gram of coke, which is like insanely expensive uh, here. Uh, but due to the fact that it is like that, I noticed that more people started to take it and also more people started to take it irresponsibly. Um, then I want to take you along in a story that I talked about uh, with a friend and first I watched the Dutch documentary about uh, GHB and GBL. You have basically two types of people. One is the people that really take it responsibly. They will always check the time in when they take their dose and then they wait either one and a half or two hours uh, before they take the next one. This is really important to do because if you go shorter than that period or you don't even check it, the chance of you to overdose or take too much is, is there. And then all of a sudden, as I mentioned earlier in this, uh, in, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, you can really get yourself in a shitty situation, passing out, losing your consciousness, um, just forgetting, falling asleep all of a sudden. But yeah, you also have another kind of um, watching time and that's once people get addicted, they actually have to take another dose and um, the body can get really uh, dependent on GHB, GBL. Once the dependency begins, um, it tends to result in strong cravings, depressed moods, insomnia and anxiety or even going as far as people just passing out um, and then losing the yeah the whole control over uh, their body my friend told me as well he was here on a visit uh, in berlin for like three weeks he took ghb almost every weekend or i think he did every weekend and then once he uh, got back home the first night all of a sudden he woke up with like sort of a cramp in his body and his body was just uh, reacting to it and moving while he wasn't uh, while he didn't take anything and this really scared him like i have been aware of how ghb and gbl works also due to that uh, documentary that i saw but i always sort of inform myself uh, about it and it, for people that either take this daily or let's say uh, several weekends in a row and etc., this really scared him off because he was like, um, it all went fine, but seeing that his body was all of a sudden reacting to the fact that he was sort of dependent on it, it scared him out because he went on the internet and then he also read like, yeah, if your body gets dependent on it, you can't just simply uh, stop cold turkey. You have to do this then with a professional. Otherwise, like, yeah, you can get yourself in danger, either that you pass out and you hurt yourself or you can even die from it. Um, 
so yeah, my whole view on GHB GBL. There are a few issues with that drug that I don't necessarily like. I must say, due to the fact that I also have friends that are very well behaved, they are responsible with their drug uses. Um, if you know your dose and uh, you are sticking with that and you don't take it the whole weekend, you uh, are responsible with it, it can be fun. For myself, uh, after trying it a few times, I remember the first time that I tried it, uh, the first dose was sort of fun. I felt the energy from it and then that ecstasy feeling. The second dose that I took, my body was just like, um, nope, and I just puked, uh, puked straight after. I have that very often, which I'm sort of thankful for my body. If my body is like, no, or it is too much, then I just puke and then it, it is out. Um, and now for me, it's not necessarily something that I would uh, take or often take. Yeah, there are too many things around this drug that I at least wanted to talk about that I also think that everyone uh, should know if you ever are interested in taking it. I would not necessarily say like, oh, it's the worst drug ever and don't take it. But please, if you ever are going to take it, be responsible with it and know your limit stick to certain rules don't get yourself in uh, in issues anyways uh, there's more to come hope you liked the video and then from my side there is nothing else to say then please check out my website if you want to support me there then you can do so uh, under the video in the description you could also buy me a coffee as a content uh, a creator because i want to continue this and then big hug much love and then i see you in the next one ciao ciao